Hi, did you know that there are actually illegal government corporations filed in the state of Delaware? Um, I wanted to share with you a little about my book today called Wonder Powers, The Power of Truth Will Save the World. My name's Maggie, some people call me Wonder Woman. And um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the history of where these illegal government corporations came from so that you can join me in sharing with this uh, to our congressmen and everybody involved about how we can get rid of them and take back our country um, and save the world. Um, so the American government was created by the Founding Fathers initially to remove us from the England banks. And so we had this revolutionary war that happened. Um, and it was interesting because only one third of Americans were actually in support of having this war. One third were loyal to Britain, one third were indifferent. Uh, but America did fight the war because England was too far away to really govern America uh, and we didn't want to pay England's taxes. So shortly after the war we had this Pennsylvania mutiny of 1783 and the soldiers uh, at that time with this Pennsylvania mutiny they marched into Congress and demanded payment and Congress then ran away into hiding and hid from them. So they hid from our American soldiers. Um, I'm not sure what that says about our Congress, but in any case, they then came back with this Compromise of 1790, which was kind of a bogus compromise because Congress illegally acquired land for themselves in Washington, D.C. in exchange for payment, which they created to the soldiers uh, to give themselves protection from the American soldiers. But isn't it really like a public service to be Congress and just facilitate payment to the soldiers, like, why does that mean that they are supposed to pay, be paid something in return? Well, all of a sudden we have to give them land. Okay, well, we gave them land. Um, well, then we had the central banking system from England that was actually put back into place shortly thereafter. And this was proposed by uh, Hamilton, who was politically backed by Rothschild. Um, he marketed and sold uh, to us this bogus central banking system from England to assist us in paying the war debt, so we were told. Um, of course, this completely defeated the purpose of the Revolutionary War because we could have printed our own money. Um, so then came the Organic Act of 1801, another bogus act, um, but this is when the USA Incorporated was actually founded. Again, the USA Incorporated is, is uh, filed in the state of Delaware. Now Congress illegally incorporated this land which they illegally acquired called Washington DC to protect themselves from the American soldiers so they could act as our dictators basically and Congress was now in control um, as they have they became a, like an official business now with this corporation and this act of 1801 um, so finally in 1811 Jefferson became president um, and he ended the England Central Bank um, he was fighting tooth and nail to not have this bank of, from England because he knew that this was defeating the purpose. So he opposed it and he created a local bank to create true independence. Uh, so Jefferson had the right idea, but then we had the War of 1812. And in 1812, um, England was against our local bank that Jefferson had created and they demanded that we use their central bank so then they burned down our capital and our treasury and our White House. Um, so we were in a predicament because England was going to have wars with us until we used their banks, which we have today, of course, with the Federal Reserve. Uh, but so Jefferson was, he'd stuck to his guns, but then we had a recession afterwards. So there was a lot of criticism about things. And then in throughout the 1800s, the banking system went back and forth from local bank to central bank. And then finally, Lincoln became president, uh, and he fought the Civil War by printing our own U.S. money using uh, a local bank again. He understood that he could print his own money. But then Lincoln was shot and killed in 1865 by the South, uh, which was backed by England's central bank. Um, so this, this basically led us to losing the Civil War uh, because we went back to England's central bank and stopped printing our own money again. So then they had another act of 1871, another bogus act, 
And this time, Congress actually illegally sold USA Inc., which they created in 1801. Now they actually created the company and they sold it to international investors. Um, so now America is owned by international banks in 1871. This was all done behind the people's backs. We didn't know what was going on. Um, and the politicians sold out and looked the other way, similar to what Hamilton did the first time. And the excuse was to pay off war debt, which defeated the purpose of the Civil War this time. But um, the result is that there are illegal mortgages in the White House and all of the buildings in Washington, D.C. Um, and it belongs to the people, the buildings, Washington. I mean, the White House, it, it's a public building. You can't mortgage it out. You know, it belongs to the people. So it's illegal, and it's, it's, it started from this bogus act of 1871. Um, so, also, did you know that you don't need to pay taxes? Income taxes are illegal. It's supposed to be to pay for, for war debt. Um, it was declared illegal and unconstitutional in 1895 by the Supreme Court. They declared it. Um, so, the, the IRS was basically to be abolished in 1895, but Congress fought it. And by 1913, they implemented our own Federal Reserve System and Federal Tax System. So it was supposed to be a voluntary in, in 1913, but obviously it kind of isn't because they put people in jail if they don't pay their taxes. Uh, but Congress, yeah, they enforce, they enforce the taxes, and it's part of our brainwashing about the dictatorship that Congress created for the country, uh, you know, back in 1790. Um, so we pay interest on this Federal Reserve money. It's all illegal, no one agrees with it, but we're forced to go along with this Federal Reserve program that they created. Um, in 1916, the Federal Reserve Incorporated was actually created and founded in the state of Delaware. Like I said, I went into the archives, you can get all the information, the president, all the names, I have it in my book. Um, all of these illegal government corporations can be found uh, yeah, in, in the state of Delaware. So we the people, we must demand that all of the politicians abolish all of these illegal government corporations, USA Inc., Federal Reserve Incorporated, IRS Incorporated, so that we can take back our country again, which is divinely ours. We need to have our own money system for the people, by the people, as it was intended. Independence. If, if they refuse, our states can secede from the Union and we can all participate in the world government by world citizens, which can support us, something that Gary Davis uh, created, but we cannot participate in these illegal government until these illegal corporations are abolished. Um, and I know that Texas is, be, is, is declaring their sovereignty. Vermont is talking about, on their ballot, about seceding from the union because they don't agree with government corporations, and many states are, are following uh, suit, but we don't hear about that in mainstream media because the federal government is controlling the media. Um, but I just want to call these things to your attention so that you can join me in uh, talking to our congressmen about it. What are we going to do about these illegal corporations? We need to file bankruptcy on them or dismiss them, uh, acknowledge them, and uh, you know, it's all illegal. We need to be printing our own money and abolish those corporations and take back our government. It belongs to the American people. That's the way it was intended to. It wasn't meant to be sold out. So anyway, please share this video and thank you for watching and uh, God bless.